All right. So in this video, we will going to cover what is virtualization or virtual machines, which are the very commonly used terms in the world of IT. Before starting, let's take an overview of the topics we are going to cover. So we will cover the what is virtualization with the use case and example, and we will also see how the virtualization works. And we will also talk about the hypervisor and its type. So let's first understand the structure of your normal machine or normal computer. Suppose you have a laptop like this, okay, which consists of the different components example hardware right which consists of the cpu the ram memory etc right on the top of your hardware you are using a operating system which may be a windows or mac os okay and on the top of your operating system you are using so many applications of your choice okay so this is the normal structure suppose you are a developer and you have created an application, okay? And now you want to test your application in the Linux operating system. So how you will do it? Or maybe you want to learn Linux operating system. So in both the cases, what you will do? Okay, so one solution is buying an another machine or, or another computer and install a Linux operating system on it. But it really makes no sense just for testing an application or just learning that operating system it will be very expensive right but no worries we have the solution which is called a virtualization okay so let's understand how virtualization can help us in this situation so we have already seen the structure of a normal computer right for example the hardware and on the top of the hardware there is an operating system like for example, you are using the windows. Okay. So now on the top of your operating system, you can set up a virtualization or a virtualization tool. And on the top of that, you can install one more operating system of your choice. For example, Linux in your case, and you can easily either learn Linux or you can test your application on the Linux environment. I have only show you an example of Windows operating system, but you can use this method or using the virtualization on any operating system. As you can see in this slide, no matter if you are using the Windows, Linux or Mac operating system as your primary operating system or host operating system, you can still use the virtualization and on the top of that you can use or install uh, and another operating system of your choice and use it very easily. Now let's talk about how to set up the virtualization, right? Because in this example, we have seen that on the top of our primary operating system, there is a layer of virtualization, but how to achieve it or how to set up that virtualization. Okay. So let's understand that. So we can set up the virtualization using the hypervisor. So what is hypervisor? It is a software that creates and run the virtual machines. As hypervisor comes as a software, so we can easily install on our local operating system or host operating system like this, and we can create different virtual machines using the hypervisor and install other type of operating system on it. One of the example of the hypervisor is Oracle Virtual Box, which is a free and open source so that you can use and try on your machine. And you can find this tool on the virtualbox.org website to which is free to download on your system. So far, we have seen and understood that by using the hypervisor, we can install the other operating system and use it. But actually, how hypervisor works let's understand now okay so hypervisor what it does it actually creates a virtual box or virtual machine okay and shares the hardware resources from your host operating system so suppose this is your computer which is having 8 gb of ram and 100 gb of hard disk okay now when you use the hypervisor and create the virtual machines 
what it does it takes or share the resources from your system for example you have decided to use or create two virtual machine okay so you have created a one virtual machine like this and assigned 2 gb of ram and 20 gb of hard disk and another virtual machine of 2 gb ram and 10 gb of hard disk right but these resources will be shared or coming from your from your main computer okay so basically these virtual machine will be acting as a separate hardware but it will be using the resources of your computer itself now on this hardware you can install any operating system of your choice separate set of virtual cpu ram storage etc so as i mentioned that so as i mentioned that each virtual machine will be having its own set of virtual cpu ram storage etc and also if we talk about the cpu the power of the cpu will also be shared between different virtual machines and last and very important point about the virtual machines are these are fully isolated so if you are running any application in the virtual machine one let's say right it will be having a the no relation with the this virtual machine two or with this main computer also so it will be totally isolated environment right so so one benefit of using the virtual machine is there is no direct impact on the main computer so right if there is any issue or there is any problem in this virtual machine one or within that so there will be no direct impact of that now let's talk about the benefits of the vms we don't need the new resources to use the different operating system no risk of any issues with your primary os because the virtual machines workings independently and in isolated environment right and testing any app on any operating systems becomes easy now let's talk about the types of hypervisor okay so there are two types type 1 and type 2 for the type 1 we call it a bare metal hypervisor also so the example we have seen previously of using the oracle virtual box as a hypervisor so that is a type 2 or hosted hypervisor okay so these type of hypervisor come under the category of type 2 and what about the type 1 or bare metal hypervisor okay so suppose there are so many cloud companies right which is using these type of technologies or type 1 or bare metal hypervisors so how it works so these type of hypervisor directly work or install on the hardware so on these type of hardware right which is really a huge hardware doesn't need any primary operating system to use these hypervisor and some examples of type 1 hypervisor is vmware vsphere and uh, citrix zen servers etc which are available in the market in the type 1 hypervisor it is having its own operating system which is really very lightweight and which is sufficient to boot the other required softwares and so on and in the end let's see why do companies use virtualization it is very cheap of course you don't have to invest in the new resources or the hardwares right it reduces the workload space energy because most of the cloud-based companies right they are the one who is managing the hardwares and the machines so you don't need to worry about uh, you know the workload space energy and etc easy backup using the snapshots so backup of your important things is become easy using the virtualization and of course the easy recover recovery all right so this is all about the virtualization if you like this video please hit that like button and subscribe the channel thank you for